Hey guys, what's going on? Cameron here with the Lawn Care Life in Missouri. I appreciate you stopping by the channel. If you're new to the channel, hey, thanks a lot. Hit that like button if you enjoy the videos. If you want to see more content, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when future videos come out. If you're returning to the channel and you've been here before, you guys know me, you guys know what the channel is all about. I appreciate the continued support, but uh, enough talking, man. Let's dive right in to today's video. Hey, I have made it to the Kentucky Exposition Center here. GIE Expo 2021. This is a South Wing B. That's kind of the main entrance where everybody's gonna be funneling into and, and uh, get your GIE Expo registration. Go right in that door right there. So I'm um, excited that we're here, excited that they're having it this year. I know last year we kind of missed out a whole lot. Um, it's empty right now, parking lot's pretty empty, but tomorrow this place will be hopping and it'll be crazy. All right, so. guys, I'm here on the south wing of the Kentucky Exposition Center. Over here um, alongside the south wing, you'll find all the outdoor demo area is gonna be over that way. And then if you look back behind me, you got the Ferris wheel in the background. That's where uh, Chant's Daily Hustle always takes her annual photo. So if you guys want to take the photo with Chant and the Daily Hustle, usually has it right over there in the parking lot, but I'm gonna go inside real quick and we're gonna see what's in the south wing. So here we are, when you walk into the south wing, this is what you're gonna be walking into. You got some information over here. You have all these um, show guides with your map and your list of exhibitors over here. So you can pick up one of these right here. It's gonna show you where everything's at, how to find the booth that you're looking for. You got lanyards over here. When you show up, if you don't have a lanyard yet, you can come over here, grab one of these Toro lanyards for your show badge, and then make your way inside the GIE Expo. So for you guys that are showing up late, I'm gonna show you and haven't received your badge yet, I'm gonna walk down here. I'm gonna show you the main entrance. Whenever you walk in the main entrance, you will see uh, the area to get your badge, whether you're an exhibitor or attendee. I'll walk you down through here real quick and show you guys where to go to pick that up. It's, I would recommend getting here early. Um, they open at 7 a.m to get your badge. So if you guys could get here early, the earlier the better, because if you wait and you wait until like 11 when the exhibitors, you know, open, or even if you wait till like 3 p.m. when the attendees get here, you're gonna be waiting a while to get your badge. There's gonna be a lot of people coming in that maybe uh, registered late and didn't receive their badge. So they're gonna all be lining up and uh, waiting to get that badge. So. 7 a.m. they open, come here early if you can, and try to get that badge. All right, guys, here's the main entrance, South Wing B. This is where you guys will probably be coming into. Uh, and then over here, when you come in on the left, you have your exhibitor uh, area where you pick up your badge and then straight in front of you. This is where you pick up your badge if you're attendee. So swing by, get here early, man. Get here early as you can, because this line is gonna be super long if you wait. And as soon as you walk in, you're gonna see Ditch Witch right here in front of you. And then if you look to the left, what do you see down there? Mulchmate. Then you have Bobcat behind Mulchmate. You have Hustler over there. You have Steel. You have Wright right there behind Ditch Witch and Echo as soon as you walk in to the main entrance. Skag, Honda, Cub Cadet, all those guys are back behind me right here in the main entrance as soon as you walk in. So if you guys are wanting to check out those brands, that's where they're at, right here. Convenient as soon as you walk in the main entrance. But man, I'm ready for tomorrow. Here at the main entrance, you have the exhibitor list. You can check that out. You can find out um, whatever booth you're trying to check out. Uh, they have the number right there beside it. So you'll be able to know exactly where to go to check that out. They have a map here behind me with the uh, outdoor demo area and the indoor exhibit hall. So 
whatever you guys are looking for, man, just check it out right here. You guys are going to be able to find it and uh, head to the booth that you want to uh, check out tomorrow. So at 4 p.m. tomorrow, you're going to come in, go right there to Mosmate Dawson Manufacturing. Get there at 4 o'clock, they're going to do their big uh, reveal of their five new products. So be sure to check that out. 4 o'clock Wednesday, Mosmate. Man, this exhibitor list, it goes on forever. So many cool brands, so many new products to see. Wow. You guys are showing up Thursday. They have food truck Thursday in uh, Freedom Hall from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, this is pop popular Louisville. Uh, food trucks will be inside the Freedom Hall on Thursday only. So if you want to check out some really popular um, food trucks in the Louisville area, they're going to be here on Thursday from 11 to 2 in the Freedom Hall. So as soon as you come in the main entrance, you hang a left, you'll be walking down this path right here. I'm going to show you guys where the, um, the Influencer Live is what it's called, where it's going to be. P105 looks like is where it's going to be. Actually, I take that back. It's B103. B103. But they had the sign here by B105. So, But yeah, here it is. Influencer Live. Free with trade show registration. Friday, October 22nd. The last day from 8 to 9.30. Room B103. Powered by Kohler. Going to have Naylor, Caleb, Paul, Jameson. You guys can check that out and room B103. So the Influencer Live is going to be in the same room as the uh, opening keynote speaker, uh, B103. That's going to be Wednesday from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. So brought to you by John Deere, OPEI. Check it out. The opening keynote, same room as the uh, Influencer Live. So let's walk down here a little bit farther, see what we can see down here. So this is where it'll be, B103, tomorrow. Right there. And then if you walk in on past the B103, you're gonna see all the hardscaping stuff down this way. So it's got a pretty long walk down here. But uh, here's all your um, workshops that you're going to be doing if you signed up for any workshops or tech training or certification right here so walk on down here into like the food area so this is pretty cool down here by this is like the food court area it's going to be places set up for food down here you have some seating over here behind me where you can eat lunch or grab a snack or whatever but um, in this area right here they have advertising anyways for the echo social media lounge and then you go down here and we got advertising for the influencer live and you go on down you got the drone zone and you got the echo uh, in freedom hall with the uh, with the uh, tree demo so that's what you got here in the food area this place will be jam-packed tomorrow. These places right here will be hopping. And bring your wallet too. Because <laughs> it's not going to be cheap. Look at this. $9 each. Lots of places to choose from though. So that's cool. If you don't already, go check out the Go Expo app. I have it on my phone. It shows me everything that I've planned out and want to uh, want to test out or want to the booths I want to head over to and check out. So here's more of the food area, and then you have the hardscape area down here. All your hardscape stuff. It's gonna be right through there. Lots going on here, man. On the hardscaping side of things. So. Got site one down there. As 
guys are down here getting with it, man. Getting busy, putting it all together, making it happen for you guys for tomorrow. You guys have seen what the inside looks like. Let's go back out to South Wing C and uh, check out the outside area and show you guys where the demo area will be tomorrow. So the GIE Expo, man, I've been coming here since 2004. That was my first year here. I actually came to the GIE my second year in business and I didn't even have a clue. I was so overwhelmed with the inside. I didn't even realize there was an outdoor demo area. So I spent the whole time inside. Just my neck was just whipped one way and the other, just looking at stuff. And it was just unbelievable. But I didn't even realize there was an outdoor demo area. Of course now, you know, coming back years later, it's like, that's where you want to be, man. You want to be outdoors to check out the equipment. But back then, didn't even realize it. Um, it was a huge show back then, but now since social media has kind of taken off, it's, uh, you know, there's more information out there, more guys showing what the GIE Expo is about. So you get to learn all these things. So almost here to the outside demo area. So I'll show you guys um, what that area looks like here in a second. You guys think about that boss wow or bobcat all right guys now here it is man like 20 acres outdoor demo area every brand every piece of equipment you could think of for lawn care for landscaping this is the place to be now it's closed tomorrow wednesday but thursday and friday this demo area will be open for you guys to come and just try all kinds of equipment out they have a sign this year, you must be 16 years or older, no exceptions, to enter the demo area at any time. So that's new. Um, used to, they just said you had to have a photo ID to ride on the equipment, but now it's showing that you can't even be in here unless you're 16 or older. So like I was saying, the demo hours, Wednesday it's closed, Thursday 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and then Friday 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So there you go new policy oh here we go so it is a new policy anyone entering the demo area must be 16 or older id required no exceptions so there you go that is new for this year so as soon as you walk into the outdoor demo area you're going to be at my x mark right in front of you can't miss it then you have echo back there behind that echo is one of my favorite booths to check out i enjoyed checking them out last year or actually i should say the last time we had the gie and then you got spiker over here you got coyote tractors i see cub cadet way down there but here it is tons and tons of room out here to just try out your favorite piece of equipment i see the right banner hanging way over there there it is right there in the middle right so it's pretty cool to see this like i said we didn't get to see it last year it looks a whole lot nicer this year um they have stripes laid out here they have grass everything looks nice everything looks really good they have sidewalks now instead of the uh, the chat. So everything's laid out and it's looking really good. We're supposed to have beautiful weather Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it's going to be a nice time to get out and demo some equipment. I know in years past, it's been like muddy, raining, nasty, but not this year, man. This is a year that we're going to have some fun out here in the outdoor demo area. Just walking down the sidewalk here and the airport is right across the road. So you'll always see these jets flying in. So you'll see that all day long here at the outdoor demo area. There's just flying in and out just constantly. Kawasaki engines right there. Then you have Kubota next to it. So many cool things to see out here. Uh-oh, I spotted something right there in the middle. It looks like that's where Toro's hanging out. So if you come in over here by Cub Cadet, 
you'll basically go this is kind of the main entrance to come in for the uh outdoor demo area right here with the gates up that's where you'll that's where you'll come in and cub cadet will be on your left Kubota on your right you walk straight back to the very back and you'll see the big trailer that says charge of the bull toro and so the ventrack booth is just past that uh, kind of on down to the right and that's where i'll be thursday at 9 a.m first thing 9 to 10 a.m I'll be there at the Ventrac outdoor booth. And then uh, I have to run inside from 11 to 1 p.m. I'll be inside at the uh, Toro indoor booth. So let's walk on down here some more, a little bit farther down here. And let's see what else is down here on the far side. I see Gravely over there. Honda. They've got a big truck over here with all their generators. Looks like they got push mowers, snow blowers. And then Skag is usually down here on the end. Yeah, there it is down there. So Skag's on the very, very end. There's kind of some food, food trucks that are usually set up down here on the very end. That's where Skag is set up. And then from right here, I can see it, man. Look at that. Right there in the middle. You see Mulchmate. So Mulchmate's right behind the Skag outdoor demo area. Looks like Mean Green has some mowers lined up there, ready to roll. I see some Skag mowers in the distance. I see a Skag debris loader right there and I see one of those jets flying in again all right so if you guys are getting hungry at the outdoor demo area just find skag find mulch mate there'll be some food right around in that area there's always several um, little trailers set up with food outside so if you guys get hungry it's gonna be a line, I'm gonna tell you right now, but if you wait in the line long enough, you may get something good to eat, and you may get something to tide you over, but I'll probably be too busy running some equipment and checking out all this equipment that uh, <laughs> I probably won't even mess with eating, but I know some of you guys, man, you you don't wanna miss that little meal, so they're gonna have you hooked up. Plenty of food, plenty of drinks, and so you can stay filled up with some food and stay filled up with some equipment because that's what we came to see right so that's all i've got guys i appreciate you watching i hope to see you guys tomorrow indoors um, if you do come tomorrow swing by the mulch mate booth at 4 p.m and i'll be there hanging out checking out the new products that nick carlson with mulch mate is gonna reveal and then uh, we'll just kind of go from there. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. Look at all this. Look at all this equipment, man. Now, one of those mowers right there on the Cub Cadet line, one of them may have the GPS on it. You can basically kick back, relax. It's like a GPS system on a tractor that we have on our farm. And you can just hit a button. It will just go back and forth for you. All you have to do is when you get to the end of the lawn, just hit the button and the mower spins around, goes back the other way. It's crazy, but that's what we have on our tractors as well. Got a lot of tractors with uh, the auto steers, what they call it for the tractors, but I'm not sure what they called it for the Cub Cadet, but it's, uh, it's GPS, man. And it's, it's crazy to think how far you know, everything's come in the last several years. I mean, we've had GPS on a farm for a really long time, probably 10 years plus, but it's kind of cool to see it on mowing equipment now. Speaking of that, the Get Greensy, I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but it's the autonomous system that's built within the uh, right company, the right mowers. So I think it's exclu exclusively uh, to right right now. 
and they've been testing it out and trying it out. I've been, I've been seeing videos on Instagram and Facebook of the right ZK going back and forth. Like, you know, the right ZK could be running back and forth on this line right here and um, nobody's even on it. See, the Cub Cadet, you have to be on the mower and it basically just holds a straight line. You press a button, it spins around, goes back the other way. But with the autonomous mower, you don't even have to be on the machine. You just set the right ZK out there, press a couple of buttons, I would say, and then it just goes to work, knows what to do. It's just crazy, the technology, but that's what you get to see here at the GIE, man. You get to see stuff like that, neat stuff that, you know, you wouldn't otherwise see in your local area. So it's pretty neat, pretty interesting, but I'm out, guys. Hope to see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the content. Like I said before, um, if you do like the content and you want to subscribe and be notified of future videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, so you'll be notified of all the upcoming videos. But uh, thanks again for watching. I'm Cameron with The Lawn Care Life in Missouri. Hope you guys are having a good day, man. And as always, hey. Now, do you guys know my boy Lamont Hairston, Hairston Property Management? That dude's going to be right over there at that booth. I gotta switch my camera around for you guys to be able to see it. There we go. Dixie Chopper. That's where he'll be.